Today, we are going to be talking about the space diagonal. And basically what a space diagonal is the longest segment that you could fit in a 3D space, or you could think of it as a rectangular prism. And in this case, I have a rectangular prism with dimensions 10, 12, and 35, and I want to go from A to B, which would represent the longest diagonal that would fit in here. And so, here we go. Well, in order to go from A to B, to figure out how long it is, we will first make a right triangle. To make our right triangle, I will just connect A to B right there. And there's our segment. But that's not the right triangle we have. The right triangle, basically, that we need will go from B straight underneath A and up to A, and that would be a right angle there. See that? So if we can find that diagonal, then we can use that in the Pythagorean theorem to find A to B. And of course, this is nothing more than a right triangle on this face with side lengths of 12 and 35. So we can go 12 squared plus 35 squared, and I'll call it x, equals x squared. So that's 144 plus 1225 equals x squared. Add those two up, that's 1369 equals x squared. And square root 1369, and it turns out that that's 37. How nice am I for doing that? So we have the diagonal across the floor, yes? So uh, that's 37, and now it only becomes a problem of, well, we'll just take 37 squared plus the height, which is 10, and now that is going to be AB squared. 37 squared, well, we already did it. There's, there it is, 1369 plus 100 is equal to AB squared, and that's 1469, square root of that, and there's AB. And that is my exact answer, and if I want the rounded answer, I stick it in my calculator, probably round to the nearest hundredth. All right, now let's talk about it in a little bit more general terms. What I've drawn here is a 3D coordinate plane, and if you haven't seen this, all it is is the same coordinate plane that you have, your X and Y now running with what running this way, and then the Z is going this way, it's a 3D plane. And just like before, I have an A and a B. See, there's the A and the B. And now it's just a little bit more general. I'm going to go from point A to point B. And I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to make a right triangle. And the right triangle will go first from B straight below A. and then from A to B. So that is my right triangle. And you might think, well, okay, so how do I find that? There's the, that's what I called X before, maybe I should call that something different, I'll call it P or something like that. Um, that's the, going to, the diagonal across the floor, and that is nothing more than the distance from here to here, or like the distance formula, right? Um, that distance formula, that would be from any two points on a coordinate plane, right? Is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that's p, right? And this distance is straight up, and I'm going from the origin. So we'll call that, let's call that Q. Well, what's Q going to be? Q is going to be the change in Z, basically. 
right? So this is if I stay on the Z coordinates. So if Q is nothing more than, oh, excuse me, Z1 minus Z2. Because in a 3D coordinate plane, you have an X, a Y, and a Z. So this point, you know, when I'm writing it, it, ha it would have an X1, a Y1, and a Z1 whatever numbers correspond to this, and this B would have an X1, a Y1, excuse me, X2, Y2, and a Z2. Different number. Um, and this point right there, of course, has got an X value, Y value, and, and of course the Z here is going to be, it's at the origin in my picture, in my example here. And to get this distance from A to B, a, B squared would be nothing more than Q squared plus P squared, right? Well, what is Q squared? Q squared is Z1 uh, minus Z2, or I should put it Z2 minus Z1 squared. P squared is this original distance formula. So, and if I, that's x2 minus x1, put a big plus in there, squared, plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that's ab squared. So if I want to find the distance between any two points, all I need is the coordinates of the points. So, in general, if a is at x, y, z ones, and B is at x2, y2, z2, uh, there are two points in a three-dimensional coordinate system, then the distance between those is the difference of the x's squared plus the difference of the y squared plus the difference of the z squared. Now, I don't want to make this like any harder than it is. If I tell you it's a rectangular prism, and I give you the dimensions, Right? The longest diagonal from here to here is going to be the square root of the sides. Right? A, B is going to be equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 8 squared. Maybe that makes it a lot easier. Right? And then, of course, you got to square them, put them together, simplify it. Of course I want you to do that. Of course. So, Nice, quick, easy, straightforward, you know, three-dimensional. One thing that this uh, three-dimensional space is, I'm going through a three-dimensional space, and that's why it's called the space diagonal. Um, so here we go. Here's some questions for you to ponder. Come in, and I think you shouldn't have too many problems with this. Uh, what is the distance between point P at 1, 2, 3, and Q at 5, 6, 15? And I want you to write it as exact, and then round it to the hundredth. Two different answers. Uh, simplify the exact answer. Number two, the longest possible diagonal in a rectangular prism with uh, 4, 6, 13. Again, exact, simplified, and round to the hundredth. Okay? This shouldn't be too bad. See you tomorrow.